Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada on Vancouver Island, a very large island. Hello everyone. I hope you're all having a great start to your weekend. I hope you've had a great week. Hi Elliot, hi Lakshay, Amrit, Yuen Ho, Rahul. Nice to see many students in the class. Welcome Laura. As students in this class, we are looking at IELTS, speaking part one, talking at a band nine level about drawing. Hmm. This is an all chat class um, and it's going to be an interactive class where you will have a chance to speak with me and I will give you uh, feedback on your speaking part one answers. We will simulate some of these IELTS part one questions. Welcome Cass, good to see more of our members coming into the class now. Um, students, this lesson is brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS, visit us there gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. We've got lots of materials to help you pass the IELTS and become successful on your next IELTS exam. This is our academic IELTS website here. Click this big red button to join our premium package. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. Use the coupon code better nouns 25 uh, to get a 25% discount, this discount code is coming from Welcome our latest to video Academic that IELTS Success, not to use world leaders word, in IELTS skills and, and strategies to score over speaking, seven. But use I got 7.5 on the IELTS so and now I'm studying today, international business. Thanks to AE Hub. I got 7.5 on the IELTS exam where you and I study computer science right now. Thank you, AE Help. I passed out with 7.5 and I'm studying accounting. Thank you, AE Help. Our self-study 120 hour course includes slides, Again, quizzes, and six original practice exams with audio for the access, listening, um, reading, and speaking sections. There are over 40 hours of professional lesson videos with peer-to-peer -peer chat to improve communication. Learn IELTS on your phone, tablet, or computer anywhere, anytime. Make money and your family proud. Learn IELTS fast and easy. Join now. I hear the in the background there. I will stop that in a moment, just a second. Oh, okay, the audio's gone, all right. Um, yeah, you're getting the voice from the website, which is okay. At least you heard some, you know, hopefully that made sense with me talking at the same time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll pay attention to that. Um, okay, I wonder which click it is that starts that off. Anyway, it's all good. It's just a short video, everyone. It's, there it is. It's a short video um, and it's over. <laughs> no worries. Okay, uh, students, so uh, if you have questions, uh, send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com. Um, our schedule for today, tomorrow, right now, we've got speaking part one, and then we'll have uh, speaking part two and part three tomorrow. So lots of speaking coming up. Speaking part one, make sure to repeat. We've got Henry up there. I think that's what we called him. I'm going to remember. I'm going to call him Henry. He looks like a Henry. Um, and Henry says, repeat. Repeat what I say. Okay, so um, in this speaking, copy uh, my words, copy the intonation, watch out for the corrections. IELTS speaking part one, we talked about this. This is our second speaking class this week for part one. So we're going to do lots of practice. You get introductory questions um, like this. Repeat after me. May I see your identification? What is your full name? How are you doing today? What do you do to relax? And then we have lots more questions uh, on a general topic. And today's general topic will be talking about drawing. So here are the questions for today. How often do you draw pictures? 
What kind of pictures uh, do you like to draw? How can you improve your drawing skills? What are situations when drawing pictures can help you communicate? Do you use technology to help you draw or create pictures? And if yes, why? If you could draw one amazing picture, what would it be? Why? All right. So these are the questions for today. Um, keep them in mind. We will be uh, asking and answering these questions. And I'm going to jump over to my syllabus here uh, so that uh, we can get a little bit more into it. Again, remember to visit our websites, aehelp.com for academic IELTS, gieltshelp.com for general IELTS, because we are using these websites in just a moment uh, to do some speaking, because the websites have speaking opportunities where you can interact with me and with other students. Okay, again, if you have questions, uh, Adrian at aehelp.com. So uh, here are the questions, okay? And um, I'm going to get right into these questions today. So um, the steps for using the chat, first of all, go to the website. Many of you already know how to do this, but I'm going to walk you through. So go to aehelp.com. Okay, um, and uh, create an account. You can create a free account by clicking the green Try Demo button, or you can create a premium account by clicking the Join Now button. Um, if you click the Try Now uh, button, then, well, for me, it'll just say log into my account because I'm already logged in. Uh, but for you, it will ask you for your email and your username, okay? If you don't have an account. If you have an account, log in and go to your My Student account. So you see that My Student account at the top there? Okay, it's a basic registration process, right? Okay. All right. Click My Student account. Boom. There you go. You're in your My Student account. In your My Student account, there's Student Partner Speaking right up there. Click on Student Partner Speaking. Click I Accept Start Speaking. Now, this is about the time when you'll get a little pop-up window that says, do you want to allow this website to use your microphone, your speakers? Yes, that's what you use to hear audio and to create sound. So uh, you need to enable that. Yes, if you're on a phone, you got to check out to make sure that it's working. And then um, you are in the chat interface and Lynn Bavesh, Hamidul, Rahul Preet, Promise, Faraz, Ho, Kelvin, Joaquin, Prince, Krizzle, Amrit, Anish, Noemi, Lynn, and Onisi are all in here ready to rock and roll. Let's start off with one of these beautiful students here today. And we'll get right into out speaking and I'm going to give you strategy and feedback while we're doing this. So uh, let's start here. Let's see, I think Noemi um, is ready to go. You click the blue envelope for master. Okay, you'll see me come up as master. And then you click the blue envelope where it says master, I'm, that's me, okay. Um, and then you say, I'd like to volunteer. Um, may I volunteer? Noemi says, hello, Adrian, it's been a while. May I volunteer? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Are you ready? And then I can send you a message in the chat and hopefully Noemi is here and then I can connect with Noemi using audio only. I'm using video for YouTube. So uh, videos for YouTube, I can't video chat with you, but uh, students, when you're doing or when you're using this chat to practice for IELTS, for the speaking, uh, I definitely recommend if you feel comfortable to use video uh, chat so it's more like the real IELTS, okay? All right, hopefully Noemi is here and is ready to go. 
Oh, Noemi, is, <laughs> Noemi says, I'm Cass. Okay, Cass, let's do it. Tricky, tricky. All right. Hello, Cassandra. Hello, Adrian. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. Are you using an alias, Noemi? And uh, no, I I actually changed my profile name, and then suddenly I don't know what happened. Okay, uh, it seems like a little bit of trickery going on to me, Cass. Yes, I, I'm just going to replace it later. All right, no worries. I appreciate clever, clever approaches. So, all right, Cass, that's fantastic. Um, so, Cass, <laughs> I'm going to uh, jump over to the syllabus here, and uh, we're going to get right into some speaking, just like in the real IELTS exam, okay? So give me nice full sentence answers, and we're starting with the icebreaker, the introductory questions. So really focus on having good clear fluent answers you want to have a good strong first impression okay with the examiner are you ready yes okay welcome to the speaking portion of the ielts exam my name is adrian i will be your examiner for this part of the test and i'm recording this for marking purposes this is candidate number seven five nine three four five eight one and examiner number 7895. We are currently conducting this exam in Vancouver. The time right now is 14 o'clock. Now we shall begin. May I see your identification? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, here's my passport, which I used to register for the IELTS exam. Please have a look. What is your full name? My given names are Cassandra Erica, and my family name is Hermoso. Did you, uh, please just call me Cass for short. And how are you doing today, Cass? I'm doing great. I'm off from work uh, as of right now, and, and I'm studying for the IELTS. What do you do to relax? I usually listen to uh, music in my iPod, uh, maybe two to three hours, and after that, I eat my favorite um, croissant for snacks and I really love it. Okay, and then the examiner would go on to say let's talk about drawing. All right, let me give you a little bit of feedback on this uh, introductory component. Um, so that you can really master it. Uh, first of all, I loved the fluency, okay? You were really fluent and that was fantastic. So your fluency would have been or would be a band nine in this case. Um, your confidence is great, Cass. So it, you know, you're practicing now, you're coming to these classes, you're volunteering, and I don't feel an ounce of anxiety in your voice. I just feel that you're full of confidence and that's, crucial to high band scores. So that's really, really positive. Um, your lexical resource is, I would say a solid band eight. Okay, I do think that, you know, you could use a bit more vocabulary. Some vocabulary could be a bit more accurate. That also okay. feeds into your grammatical range and accuracy. But these are not points to worry about too much. Work on them, practice them correct them, but don't stress about them. Um, to improve from a band eight to band nine can really you know, take some time and effort because there's small mistakes that are very crystallized or fossilized in our language. And it, it's, it's a lot of hard work to get rid of those, but they will eventually disappear, okay? okay. So um, I said, may I see your identification? You very nice answer here. You said, yes, sure. Here's my passport, which I used to register for the IELTS exam. Please have a look. Perfect, and you're showing me your passport. Very fluent, no mistakes, band nine. Okay, 
Um, I asked you, what is your full name? You said my given names are uh, Cassandra uh, uh, Erica, if I remember correctly. Yes. yes. Um, and my family name uh, is Hermoso. I'm sorry if I don't spell it right. Um, so Hermoso, uh, please just call me Cass for short. Uh, that was great. Very nice introduction. Very natural, very confident. Um, Cass, when you're um, going forward in life and you're um, looking for work at an international company or an English speaking company, that's the kind of introduction, that's the kind of confidence you want to take into your professional life too and you'll do just fantastic, okay? okay. So then I asked you, how are you doing? You said, I'm doing great. And then, you know, this is where it starts to get a little bit more challenging to stay perfect, right? Because the more yeah. questions, the more chances <laughs> to make more mistakes, right? So how are you doing today? You said, I'm doing great, which was a really nice, quick, clear start. I'm off from work <clears throat> as of right now. Um, yeah, that was okay. And then you said, I'm studying uh, for the IELTS. Um, now, I can't remember exactly, but I do remember that there was one small awkward um, use of, a, I think, a preposition or uh, just a word in that sentence that was a little bit like, eh, okay, almost a bad okay. nine, but a little okay. bit less. So uh, these, these lessons are being recorded, so you can go back to this time in the lesson later. It's at 16 minutes right now. Okay. Um, so I think you answered at around 14 minutes maybe. So you can check what that was, but you'll catch it. I'm sure when you listen okay. a second time, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's what he was talking about. There's just a weird okay. little thing there. Okay. Okay, and then I asked you, what do you usually do to relax? And you said, I usually listen to music um, in my iPod, um, on my iPod, not in my okay. iPod. Okay, okay. Okay, so that one I definitely caught. That should have been okay. on my iPod. Um, okay. Because in my iPod, I get it. It's a small mistake, but to a native ear, it's immediately this kind of little weird... And prepositions, I always tell people, don't worry too much about prepositions because they're very tricky. Even native speakers make mistakes with them sometimes. But when you make kind of a weird mistake, it does kind of stick out. So it sounds like you're inside your iPod listening to music, like you're like a miniature <laughs> person that's living inside an iPod. So I usually listen to my Mew2 music on my iPod for two to three hours a day. And then the end of this, it was kind of, it was quick, but it was a little bit, interesting and i eat my favorite snack um a croissant i can never spell it french word croissant croissant some, something. Croissant. croissant something like that Which? there it is two s's okay. croissant <laughs> okay so uh yeah i love croissants too i should probably learn how to spell it um so and i eat my favorite snack a croissant um all right. Um, uh, it, for me, it's I would if you want to make it a band nine, add something like this. For me, this is soul food. Okay. okay. It's a nice I, complication. I, actually, I said which I really love <laughs> at the end. Yeah, and that's kind of that. I, which I really love is it's a bit of it's, ah, it's okay. a bit awkward. Okay. Okay. So just repeat this last uh, sentence. Uh, with me okay so what do you do to relax I usually listen to music on my iPod for two to three hours and I eat my favorite snack a croissant for me this is soul food what do you do to relax I usually listen to music on my iPod for two to three hours and I eat my favorite snack a croissant for for me this is a soul food this is soul food soul food yeah not a soul food this is soul food yes okay all right, so it's those micro corrections, right? But Cass, Band Aid, it's lovely. I think you're definitely on the right track. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks for volunteering, Noemi. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll edit my profile already. Okay. All right. Bye, okay. Cass. All right. Bye. Okay, okay everybody, give Cass a, a thumbs up. Um, she did a lovely job. Great way to introduce IELTS speaking part one the introduction. Uh, let's have another volunteer. I really want to get some volunteers in today. Uh, let's see who Promise is 
Um, Promise says, hello, please, may I volunteer after her? Sure, Promise, are you ready? I'm not sure who this is, but we'll soon find out. I wonder if Promise is the real name here, if it's an alias. All right, thanks for all the thumbs up, everybody, and for all the encouragement. For us, Laura, that's fantastic. Okay, I'm always looking for lots of new volunteers. We've got 270 people watching. Hopefully there will be lots of new volunteers from there. Again, this is an aehelp.com. Create an account. Log into your My Student account. And then um, you want to click on Student Partner Speaking. Right now we're waiting for Promise to see if Promise is there for some more part one questions. Okay, Promise, I don't know if you're there. I just sent you a message. Um, if you get my message, then, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, Promise is there. Promise says, yes, Promise is my real name. Okay, let me call you Promise. That's an incredible name. Hopefully we can connect. All right. Make sure students have a good internet connection when we're doing this. All right, well, Promise, I tried calling you. Not sure what's going on on your end, but uh, I didn't hear you pick up, so. Okay, let's try Rahul Preet. Let's see. Rahul Preet says, yes, Adrian, I'm ready for my speaking practice. Okay, Rahul Preet, I'm just gonna call you then and see if you pick up. Hello. Hi, Rahul Preet. Hi, Adrian. How are you? I'm doing great. And hello to the uh, lovely sounding dog in the background. Is that your dog? It's do Sorry, man. Yes, it's my neighbor's dog. He's barking so loud. Okay. Is he friendly? No, he's not. Oh, Let no. me shut the dog. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I hope he doesn't give you too much grief. Poor little guy. Sorry. All right. It's not a problem. Okay, uh, Rahul Preet, so thank you for volunteering for some speaking questions. I am going to get right into uh, speaking part one questions with you. Give me some nice okay. full sentence answers, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to give you a hint. For this first question, uh, think about numbers as well, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yes. All right. So here we go. Uh, let's talk about drawing. How often do you draw pictures? Uh, I, I occasionally draw pictures or, or images, usually over the weekends to as a stress buster. Uh, last weekend, I draw a very beautiful picture of the uh, famous personality Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go SK <laughs> instead of trying to write okay. that name. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, got you. All right, so let me give you some feedback on that. Um, good. So this question, how often do you? Um, it's very common in out speaking part one. They love asking this how often because one of the earliest kinds of um, uh, lessons that students learn in English are adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency are like always, uh, usually, often, sometimes, uh, rarely, uh, never. Okay, and then we've got, of course, a lot of um, synonyms like for rarely, you have the word seldom as well. And this lesson, these adverbs of frequencies, they're usually in like the low intermediate level. So they like to start with this kind of question often for part one. 
Um, when you hear this, how often? First, think about these always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never, and then think about numbers. Like think about once, twice, uh, an hour, two hours, 30 minutes um, a day, okay? You did a little bit of this. So you did a little bit of what's called quantitative. You said you usually draw on the weekends, which gave me at least a little bit of an idea of occasionally, right? Occasionally, for you, occasionally means on the weekends. And that's good, that's good description, okay? You were fluent, you were confident. That was really good, okay? So your fluency, I think, is a band eight. Um, I think your grammar range and accuracy is around a band seven. Um, grammatical, or sorry, uh, lexical resource, so vocabulary is around band seven. Uh, pronunciation is a band eight. I think overall that was a band 7.5. Okay, for just one answer, which is, it's tricky to give a mark for just one answer, but I, I think that would be about a band seven five, okay? Got it. All right, so um, you said, I occasionally draw pictures or images. I like that paraphrasing. So I like how you took the word pictures and immediately you said, oh, that's also images. Um, and then you said usually, which is another adverb of frequency. So you use that one and then you use this one as well, which is really good. Um, over the weekends. That was good. Um, I would have added a little bit more here, like maybe for an hour or so each day. Okay, that means like an hour on Saturday, hour on Sunday. And then you said as a stress buster. Um, I mean, yeah, it's stress One buster. Minute. It's it's an expression. It sounds it sounded a little bit forced to me, like you just kind of pushed it into it. But yeah, okay, but it's fine. We don't really use stress buster so much in my part of the world, so on the west coast of uh, Canada, US, but maybe east coast, maybe British people, mm. I don't know, maybe they use Can it. Can we replace it with the unwind myself? You don't unwind yourself, no, don't say that. You, you unwind, okay. but not yourself, okay? You're not all twisted okay. up, so you don't unwind yourself, okay. just unwind. Um, you could okay. say to unwind, okay. each day to unwind. Okay, so keep it simple, to unwind. Not myself, okay, you don't unwind yourself. Okay. All right, um, last weekend I drew a picture of uh, the famous uh, personality, um, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the person's name, but- Shah Rukh Khan. Shah, Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. Yes. Shah Rukh Khan, maybe like that. Okay, um, and that was good that you gave an example. That was, that was lovely, that was really good. Um, you don't draw a picture of a person. Do you know what the more exact word is for that? When you portrait. That's portrait. right. Okay, so that would have given you that bit more uh, vocabulary mm -hmm. uh, or lexical resource. So portrait. Yeah, you paint or draw portraits of people. Very good. So nice. So you do have the vocabulary. So you just have to use it, right? And when you use uh -huh. it, your mark will go up. Very good. To be honest, to be honest, I like lack the confidence. And I gave ALS before in 2018. At that time, I also scored band six. Oh, really? You only got a band six? Yeah. And two. Well, I think I, you've and improved. Two, yeah. Yes, but in that time, I got eight in listening, reading, listening, seven in reading, six each in speaking and writing. Mm, yeah, I definitely think your speaking but, score should be higher based on just on our interaction. I think that's a very low mark for you, Six. So either you've improved a lot or you definitely just want to be more of yourself and more confident when you're there, okay? Got it, thank you. Because okay, you're doing good. All right, I'm gonna do a quick repetition of this. Um, do the same, repeat after me, and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, so one more okay. time, how often do you draw pictures? I occasionally draw pictures or images, usually over the weekend, maybe for an hour or so uh, each day to unwind. Last weekend, I drew a portrait of the famous personality Shah Rukh Khan. How often do you draw pictures? I occasionally draw images or pictures, usually over the weekends for four to five hours a day. Uh, for example, last weekend, I draw a portrait of a famous Indian personality named Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, uh, careful with your verb tense, drew, not draw, I drew, okay? I drew. Past Go tense, ahead. right, draw, drew. Okay, uh, very good, keep up the good practice, Rahul, uh, and be confident, I mean, I think your English is much better than a six, for sure, you should get at least a seven, so just be confident, okay? Okay, got it, thank you, Adrian. All right, keep it up. 
All right, everybody. So give Rahul Preet a thumbs up, maybe an applause. That was really good, okay? And uh, yeah, confidence is key to getting your maximum score, definitely. I mean, I'm sure Rahul Preet has improved quite a bit over three, four years, but still, six, I think, is too low. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's take somebody else here. Um, let's see who is volunteering. Definitely some changes going on here in the uh, chat. I'm looking for some new names as well. Here we have Kalechi. I think Kalechi, we tried to connect last time, but we couldn't. So maybe you figured out your system. So Kalechi says, hi, master, pick me. Okay, Kalechi, are you ready? I believe, uh, yeah, I believe I tried to connect with you, but it wasn't working before. So hopefully you figured it out with someone else and now we'll be good to go. All right, let me know Kalechi if you're there. And again, hopefully you practiced and used this interface over the last couple of days to make sure that it works for you. Students use a headset if you can, okay. It's, uh, it's gonna give you the most clarity for sure. Thanks for the support, everyone. I'm looking at Paula, Lakshay, Love, Carolina, Abrar, giving the applause and the thumbs up. That's superb. Okay. Krizil, thanks for the thumbs up. Kalechi, are you still there? No? Okay. Pay attention, students. You could be next. All right. Um, Let's go for oh, let's try Onisi. Onisi, okay. Are you there? I always want to check if you're there. If I just call you, I don't want the system to just ring in everybody's ears without some hope of finding a voice on the other end of the line. Okay, again, to all of our viewers, in order to volunteer, log in to your account at aehelp.com. Okay, so go to aehelp.com, log in, and that's where you volunteer in the uh, student partner speaking. Onisi is ready. Hello. Hi, Onisi. Hello, sir. How are you? I am doing fine. How about you? I am doing great. Thank you for asking. Onisi, may I ask, where are you right now? I am yes. I am at home. I am from Algeria. Algeria. Awesome. Yes. All right. And how is the weather in Algeria right now? It is just uh, cool. It's time for a picnic. It Time for a picnic. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Yes. I can do with a picnic. <laughs> the weather is nice. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you a question, Onisi, um, and uh, give me a nice full sentence answer. Always think about giving an explanation, of course. And if there's an easy example, then put that in. All right. Okay. I'll try. All right. <clears throat> so uh, we're still talking about drawing. Um, yes. Here we go. Uh, what kinds of pictures do you like drawing? Because I don't like to draw a lot, I usually draw, draw with, only with my little niece. So I just uh, do some sketches of, as doodles or uh, something prim primitive, I, th I think. Uh, just like the other day, I was with her. I took uh, some time, about an, an hour with her. That uh, take to some animals, something like uh, primitive, nothing, nothing too much. Okay. All right, so that would be about a solid um, band seven, I would say, just uh, as a quick estimate of your um, 
speaking. Um, band seven means that it's good English, basically. Okay. okay so when 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 the when the examiners are thinking about these band scores, they really do just think about the band score descriptor. So band six means fluent, but lots of mistakes. Band seven means good English. Band eight means very good English. Band nine means expert English. That's where we're listening to a newscaster giving the news, basically. Okay. Um, so band seven is good English. That's where you know you're making sense. It's not too many mistakes. You've got good um, amount of detail. You're accurate for the answer. I think you could probably even do better. I think you could get close to band eight by just adjusting okay. your strategy a little bit, because it's clear to me that you do have a lot of vocabulary and fairly solid grammar. Okay. So just I'm panicking like no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my, like my fourth source, first time. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I can, I can uh, sympathize with you. So it's, uh, it can okay, be very nerve wracking. Um, my first advice is try to avoid negative responses. So you started with because I don't like drawing a lot. Um, as soon as you begin with a negative, it okay. closes a lot of doors. It makes it very difficult to give a great answer when you start negative. So even if it's true. I don't recommend starting with it. Also, you're starting with because, and that tells me that you're giving me an explanation before you're giving me an answer. Oh, okay, it's okay. tricky to speak like that. Okay, It's not impossible, and you can speak at a very high level with that structure, but it's the difficult road. So, you know, in the IELTS, I think it's always best to choose the easy road to a band nine. You don't have to choose the difficult road to the band nine. So I don't recommend starting negative and I don't recommend starting with an explanation. Okay. Okay. So that I does. would actually like later, later in your response, you started to tell me animals that you're drawing animals uh, or something yes. primitive. Okay. Um, if I'm thinking of doodles, um, children, um, I would say, okay, animals. What are some other primitive doodles that we draw with kids? Uh, just, uh, just like a head with a stick with a stick body. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you don't know the word, definitely don't use it. Say something else. But uh, stick men. Okay, they're actually called stick men. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a, a stick men. so you're on the right path. If it's a stick body, it's stick men. <laughs> yeah. Um, so animals, stick men, um, maybe houses, fruits. Right. Keep it simple. Yes, yes like, like uh, houses with the, the sunshine on the corner of the paper. Yeah. Don't go into too much detail where you start to maybe show the examiner that you don't have the vocabulary with for that. So just keep it at the point where you're giving detail but only to the point where you're using accurate vocabulary okay it's kind of tricky you have to feel it but you have to make the examiner believe that you have all the words that you need for that interview do you see okay, what i mean okay. yes, yes. so um this is what i would have started with in your case okay so i would have started by saying um i usually uh draw uh pictures of animals, uh, houses, and fruits. Uh, these are very primitive uh, drawings because I do not like to draw a lot. Uh, I only doodle when I'm with my niece. So notice how I'm saying the same as what you said, but I'm just switching the order to answer explanation example, right? I only doodle when I'm with my niece um, as I did last evening. Okay, smoother, easier road to that band nine, all right? Visualize it um, and then uh, you'll be much better, okay? Um, so let me do this. Let me repeat this, Onisim, and then copy after me. Sounds good? Are you still there, Onisim? Did I lose Onisi? I think I lost Onisi, maybe. Um, is Onisi still here? I don't see Onisi. Oh, there's Onisi calling me. Okay. Hi, Onisi. Sorry, I just lost you. The connection is bad. That's okay. We've got we got reconnected, so it's all good. Um, okay, so Onisi, I'm going to do a quick repetition here. 
yes. for this answer. Um, does it make sense how I switched the order of what you said? Yes, it makes sense a lot. Okay, great. So here we go. What kinds of pictures do you like drawing? I usually draw pictures of animals, houses, or fruits. These are very primitive drawings because I do not like to draw a lot. I only doodle when I'm with my niece as I did last evening. What kinds of pictures do you like drawing? Uh, I usually draw pictures of animals, houses, and fruits. There are pretty, very primitive drawings because I do not like to draw a lot. I only doodle when, uh, when I am with my niece as I did last evening. Okay, good, much better. So smoother, faster, clearer. Okay, Onisi, um, I hope you have a great picnic on the weekend with some delicious food and good friends and keep up the good yes, studies. You. Use lots of English, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. All right, thank you for volunteering. Bye for now. Have a nice day. Thanks. All right, that was Onisi. Give Onisi a thumbs up, that was fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's take another volunteer. So pay attention, um, students, to the order of information. Order of information can really impact your overall performance. All right. Okay. Um, let me reach out to Lynn. Let's see if Lynn is here. Lynn says, can I volunteer? I really like to draw. Okay. All right. So sure, Lynn, are you there? Oh, there, question mark. Let's see if Lynn is still with us here. Wise Thief saying, oh, that doesn't look like a band seven. It sure is Wise Thief, it sure is a band seven. Okay, uh, let me call Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, sir. How are you doing, Lynn? I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing well also. Uh, good for you for volunteering again. I remember you volunteered, I think, earlier this week. So good, you're studying hard. Thank you, sir. All right, Lynn, so you ready for a question? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so um, let's talk about drawing. How can you improve your drawing skills? I usually, uh, I usually uh, made a lot, make a lot of progress by watching YouTube tutorials, and I also buy books about fundamental art and color theories but more important I uh, practice frequently um, like yesterday I just make some sketches about my favorite band okay very nice All right, um, that would be like a solid band 6.5. Um, if you would say that a bit more fluently, so the same answer, but more fluently, um, then you can get even a 7.5.8. So you want to work on your fluency, Lynn, and that will come with practice. And then you're doing that now because you came back to this class. Are you chatting with other people using this um, part of the website by any chance, Lynn? I have never done that. I highly recommend it, okay? Because I can tell that you have a lot of English up here in your head. You just have to work on really getting it smoothly out into the world, okay? Um, yes. So, you, your vocabulary was great. I loved your approach. The start was a bit slow. Um, so, I was kind of like, okay, are you searching for words? Are you searching for, so what, what are you looking for? But then you really found your way. So, you said, I usually make a lot of progress by watching YouTube tutorials. And I also buy books, a couple of small mistakes with grammar, like plurals and some slight mistakes, but overall quite good. So, and I also buy books about um, 
we would probably say this the other way. So not fundamental art, but art mm -hmm. fundamentals. Uh, and color theories, if I caught that correctly, but more importantly, yes. so here we had a, a word form mistake instead of but more important, but more importantly, I practice frequently, like yesterday, I made some sketches uh, of my uh, favorite band. Um, is that like a music band? Yes. Okay. All right. Sketching an entire band. That's quite uh, impressive, I must say. Um, so overall, it was good. I mean, you had uh, the example um, there also. Again, just fluency. The, the main area of improvement um, for you to go up a solid band score uh, to two band okay. scores is just more fluency, okay? Um, yes, so I'm going I to... I was very nervous. <laughs> yeah, that happens, yeah. And uh, you get over nervousness by practicing. So practice makes you less nervous, right? Um, here we go. I'm, and, and good on you for being brave to, you know, volunteer. Um, I'm going to read the question, the answer, and then repeat after me, okay? Yes. Here we go. Um, how can you improve your drawing skills? I usually make a lot of progress by watching YouTube tutorials and also buy books about art fundamentals and color theories. But more importantly, I practice frequently. Like yesterday, um, I made some sketches of my favorite band. How can you improve your drawing skills? I usually make a lot of progress by watching YouTube tutorials. I also read books about art fundamental and color theories. But more importantly, I practice frequently. Just like yesterday, I made some sketches of my favorite band. Very nice. So again, good information, great content, good vocabulary, good pronunciation more Thank fluency you, okay more fluency so speak lots speak 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 anytime you get a chance okay yes all right keep it up lynn and hopefully i'll see you more in the class yes thank you sir okay. have a great day thanks you too bye bye okay so that was lynn give lynn an applause yeah it is nerve-wracking i know students like there's 300 people watching right going like let's hear some english um it's a, it's even <clears throat> scarier sorry scarier than uh, the ielts exam because in the ielts exam it's just you and the examiner right so it's a great way to push past that fear and that's what you want to do all right um let's uh find someone else to practice another question here with okay um, okay, let's see. Who do we have in here? All right, now let's reach out to Bandita. Um, okay, Bandita says, Hi, may I volunteer? My speaking exam is on Monday. Okay, let's wish Bandita uh, good luck on her exam. So, are you ready, Bandita? If you're there, I will definitely ask you a question or two to help you get ready for your Monday's exam. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hi, Bandita. Yeah, hi. Hi, can you Hello. hear me? Hi, Bandita. I can. Yeah, Make sure I, to mute I YouTube so that we don't hear the sound coming back from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Yes, I can hear you, Bandita. All right, exciting times. You are going to sit your exam on Monday. Yes, yes. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah excited as well as nervous. But... <laughs> okay, get rid of the nervous, like take the nervous, roll it up into the ball, throw it behind you, and then go excited <laughs> forward. Yes, yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, believe in yourself. You know, I always tell people like the sun will shine tomorrow. You can't really learn a language in two, three days. So it's just time to be confident and put your best foot forward. Right. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Bandita, let me ask you a couple of questions mm -hmm. um, help you build some mm -hmm. confidence mm -hmm. for your exam. Okay. So um, here we go. Uh, still talking about drawings. So, or drawing. Mm -hmm. Um, what are situations when drawing pictures can help you communicate? 
Uh, yes, uh, so there are uh, uh, many situations and feelings uh, which uh, drawing can communicate. Uh, it may be one's feelings uh, which that person cannot uh, communicate in verbal way, but uh, it can. This uh, can be portrayed uh, with the help of drawing to others. Uh, like uh, my daughter, she draw the pens, uh, and uh, that by that we can understand her feelings. Uh, do you use technology to help you draw or create pictures? Sorry, could you please come again? Yes, do you use technology to help you draw or create pictures? Uh, I usually don't use uh, technology uh, like Doodle or any other uh, online platforms. So I prefer to uh, use the pencils and uh, crayons to draw and paint the pictures and I motivate that uh, the same uh, to my daughter also but maybe in future I might use along with my daughter to practice. If you could draw one amazing picture what would it be? Uh, yeah so I usually like uh, flowers, uh, roses and uh, hibiscus to paint uh, if uh, but I, I do not know how to uh, portrait uh, how to uh, picture the, a person's uh, a face so definitely in future if I use to draw then that could be a portrait of a person okay that is the end of part one we will now go on to part two for part two I will show you some questions please do not touch the booklet you have some note paper uh, beside you and your pencil you may take notes in that one minute if you wish uh, and then you will have one to two minutes to speak I will tell you when to start when to stop and that's how part two then begins okay Bandita mm -hmm. all right Bandita okay. um, good news I think you have great English all right so you're fluent you're confident I can tell you have a lot of experience uh, with English as well um, you're giving some nice natural original answers. I think that you're definitely going to get a 6.5, maybe as high as a band 7.5, probably a band 7. Okay, that's going to be my estimate. Come back, let us know in the class, okay? I'm curious how yeah, yeah. accurate. Okay, so come back in the chat and say, yeah, Adrian, you're right, I got a band 7. Or Adrian, you're totally wrong, mm -hmm. I got a band 9 with a little star beside it. And uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully that's Hope the situation. So. <laughs> okay. yeah. All right, uh, let me give you a little bit of feedback on these three mm -hmm. questions that I asked you. Okay, yeah, sure. so I asked you, what are situations when drawing pictures can help you communicate? And you said, so there are many situations and feelings which drawings can uh, communicate. And that was a great answer. I agree. So feelings are definitely one of those elements that drawings help to communicate. Then I think, so I actually think your English could be as high as a band eight. You have to be careful not to get lost in your explanations. Try to be more direct with your explanation. So you said it may be one's feelings which a person has difficulty communicating, but this can be communicated through drawings. And there it started to feel a bit repetitive and a bit mm -hmm. unclear so mm -hmm. um, it's good to be more concise so uh, a person uh, can express um, emotions like love and sadness uh, in powerful ways um, through uh, drawing pictures um, and then like my daughter she draws her pains um, when she feels down uh, last week uh, she uh, drew an image of a rainy day okay uh, so a little bit more direct with your answers and then your band score will go even higher because your coherence score so I think your fluency score and I think your pronunciation, your lexical resource, I think those are all very strong. I think you want to improve on your coherence score, so the clarity of your answer. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, again, the same advice as I said before to another volunteer, mm -hmm. careful with negatives. So when I said, do you use technology to help you draw or create pictures? And you said, I usually don't use technology like Doodle or any other online platforms. Um, I usually prefer to use pencil and crayons to draw. Um, it was okay. However, mm -hmm. you might want to say something like, yes, occasionally I uh, use my tablet, computer, my smartphone to draw some digital images uh, that are funny mm -hmm. uh, for family, like a happy face. Uh, but most mm -hmm. of the time I prefer crayons and pencils. Okay, so careful with the negative, right? Okay. Uh, with the last question, if you could draw one amazing picture, uh, use the condition. Uh, yes. So if I had a chance to draw an amazing picture, it would be of a person. I feel mm -hmm. that people are very difficult to draw. Uh, that's mm -hmm. why I prefer drawing flowers instead. However, mm -hmm. I would love to create an incredible portrait of my daughter or my husband. Okay. So something yeah. like that. Okay. So use the condition and focus on the answer. It sounded like you started focusing on flowers and roses and I was a little bit confused. And then you said, okay, I mm -hmm. want to, you know, draw faces, draw portraits. Okay. Let's try this mm -hmm. last question one more time. So include the mm -hmm. condition and give me a direct answer with your dream of drawing amazing portraits. Okay. So yeah. here we go. If you could draw one amazing picture, what would it be? Uh, if I could draw an amazing picture, uh, that would be uh, the portrait of a person as uh, uh, it is uh, very much uh, difficult to draw and I wanted to improve uh, uh, my drawing skill. Uh, like, uh, however, if uh, like uh, sometimes I draw the pictures of flowers. Uh, okay, but just a case, sec, Pandita, yeah. I'm going to stop you there. So instead of mm -hmm. going into the pictures of flowers, right there, mm -hmm. you almost had that band 758. All you needed to mm -hmm. do was just finish with the example. I would love to draw a beautiful portrait of my daughter. Yeah, I would love to draw a beautiful portrait of my daughter and Perfect. possibly for my husband, yeah. Okay, great, and now you're in that nice seven to eight range with clarity and coherence. Do you feel what I mean by that? Yes, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. Okay, so careful. I'm getting lost in between. Exactly, yeah, don't get lost in details. Don't get lost in over explaining. That's a, that's a tricky uh, piece of this, but it's important, okay? Yes, yes, thank you. Dear. All right, keep up the good practice, Bandita, and good luck mm -hmm. on your Monday exam. Everybody, wish Bandita good luck on her exam. I know she can do it, and I'm excited mm -hmm. to see what mark she's going to get in our next week classes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, and even we have a practice class uh, on Saturday. That's Maybe. right, <laughs> that's right. So, more yeah. help coming. Okay, yeah, Bandita, yeah. I look forward to it. Until then, keep practicing, okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. That was Bandita. And yes, Bandita has booked a full IELTS speaking interview with me for Saturday. So I will be able to give her some more help and get her trained even more on being concise with answers. Uh, students, that's all the time for this class. But worry not, because tomorrow... Um, we have a speaking part two and part three. So uh, you will have lots more chances. And for students who I did not speak with today, make sure to come back and volunteer tomorrow. Uh, members speaking part two tomorrow and then speaking part three for everyone. Thanks for the thumbs up and the support, everybody in the chat. I'm seeing that. Um, yeah, let me just, let me show everybody. There you go. You can see there's everybody giving those awesome thumbs up and congratulations. And that's wonderful. So uh, yeah, nice support, everyone. That's how you do it, right? We build each other up and make each other stronger. Thank you, Carolina, for moderating. Uh, thank you to all of our lovely members, Tatiana, Laura, Cass, Faras, Nutan, and to all of our viewers. Um, please make sure to check us out at aehelp.com. Sign up for that premium package. Support our efforts and your own success. Use the code BETTERNOUNS25 
for an additional 25% discount on that premium package. Um, students, I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from Victoria for now, Western Canada, but I will be back tomorrow at the same time. So hopefully I will catch you all then. Much love to all of you. Bye.